Welcome cuties, let's create. Today you get to enjoy the struggle. <laughs> I went to All A Dollar and I bought this modeling clay. You can buy modeling clay from Hobby Lobby or probably Michaels, any craft supply store. I've even seen it at Walmart or Target. I mean, it's not this exact one, but it's just a polymer type clay. I, it doesn't say anywhere that this is air drying clay, so I'm just assuming that it is. I am still waiting for this to dry, and it's been a couple days since I have finished my projects. Um, I really like this because it comes with a white, and I want to make some lighter colors. So that's what I'm attempting to do here, is just taking a piece off because I don't have enough white to make all of, you know, the whole thing lighter. But I was just going to take a little bit off um, each one and just make them lighter. The problem that I came to is that I didn't have enough white, even for all those colors. And as you see, I, you know, pull them apart and then, you know, eventually I'm like, well, you know what? I would rather have, you know, a lighter brown than the dark green be lighter because I already have a light green. And so anyway, I go through and I attempt as much as I can with the little of white that I have. I would love to have made a even lighter of some of the colors. So there's my pink. This one was the purple, the dark blue. Again, you can hardly see a difference on some of these. Um, I made that green out of the green and the blue. That one's just the light brown, and then the other one is a mixture of the yellow, brown, white, and orange. And again, I, I wish I would have done that differently. And I saved just a little bit of white, just in case. And so I decided to make some things. And I have seen on my Pinterest, I have a board called Foodimals. <laughs> They, there is this artist that has created these um, illustrations of animals mixed with food. And I saw this one of these s turtles that were Pop-Tarts. And so this is my attempt. Again, I didn't want to use the rest of my white. And so the brown for this Pop-Tart is way too dark for an actual Pop-Tart. And... I don't know how people do it. I constantly have a bunch of my fingerprints all over the clay. So I don't know how these artists are making them so smooth looking because I just have a bunch of fingerprints on mine. And this was just an attempt. Um, I, I wish I... It's a long process. And... This took me literally all day to, to do these things because I, I started, you know, I started the Pop-Tart and eventually didn't like it, tried to start a new one, didn't like it. Um, so that was my process all day. And I don't have any tools because I didn't want to go out and buy tools if I didn't like it or I wasn't good at it. And I have learned I'm not good at it. <laughs> I mean, it's still fun and I think it would have been useful to have a couple of tools, like the roller. I've seen people have some sort of rolling tool that I think would have been nice to have, but it's okay, it worked out fine. So here I am trying to make the top of the, uh, the Pop-Tart, the frosting, and uh, it was, I just, wow. And in between, you'll notice me have this rag and I just got a Clorox wipe and because your fingers they get so dirty and I apologize that you have to see my ugly unpainted dirty fingernails <laughs> through this whole process but um, I would constantly going back to kind of wipe off my fingers because I noticed if I was dealing with a dark color so let's say you know I was rolling out even the red and then tried to roll out the white, the red on my hands would get on the white. Or if I, you know, later, um, you'll see the black and the yellow of how that 
works out. <laughs> so that's about as much as I could muster to make it look decent. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I just don't no words, no words to describe. I mean, I probably would have been better off trying to make those weird creatures at the top of the package than what I was attempting to do. And I think the other thing is I was... I had too much faith in myself. <laughs> that sounds... I mean, that sounds... You can take it however you want. But I... This is going to sound a little maybe vain, but I like to consider myself pretty good when it comes to anything artistic. That, you know, I can pick it up pretty fast and I'm actually not too bad at it. But the clay, I would just, I, and I, I think it's because I didn't have enough, um, I think, well, you know, I'm just justifying it. Because I would like to say, if I had enough white, these would look better, but I, like, these sprinkles are way too large <laughs> for this Pop-Tart. And, yeah. So I was, I'm grasping at straws for right now. But that's what it looked like. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna mix some of the light pink and the red to make, you know, the limbs of the Pop-Tart. Well, as you can tell, I ended up scratching the Pop-Tart. And saw this other one from the guy, and it was a sloth donut. And I was like, that is so cute. I did not have enough <laughs> patience because it didn't work out. And so then I was like, let's go simple. Let's make a peep. You know, the little bunny peeps that you see. And so here I am attempting with, you know, all I have is just my pencil. And <sighs> as you, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the sneak peek of what this becomes. Because at this, you know, I, I was getting a little frustrated and kind of sad that they weren't working out the way I wanted to and envisioned. And I just look at this and I'm like, oh, that is so sad. <laughs> it is so horrible looking. And so I was like, oh, I'll take, so I was going to make a smiley face out of the nose, but I'm like, no, they have noses. And so here I am grabbing a little bit and I was like, you know what, I'll just put it into a little smiley face. And I was like, you know what, I am not happy. So it's going to be sad. <laughs> so that's why. And then I couldn't even keep it on. And oh my gosh. And as you can see, my hands are really dirty. And so me, you know, continuing to touch this, you know, pink, it makes it just look dirty. And so I give up <laughs> and I attempt something. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I decide to attempt something very simple. I'm like, I'm just going to make a chocolate bar. <laughs> so here I attempt a chocolate bar. And not gonna lie, even this turns out wonky. <laughs> I, oh geez, just, it's kind of funny to look back and just go, the struggle, the struggle. I don't miss the feeling on my hands because it, it's this, I don't know. If you've played with clay, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, you won't know what I'm talking about. It's this, uh, it's just bad. So there it is. The chocolate bars aren't even even. <laughs> so I'm like, let's go, let's, you know, attempt something more than just a chocolate bar because that's just a square. Is I decide to make a B. And, you know, it, I was doing fine and I was feeling great about it, but then near the end again since I'm going from a light color to a dark because you know you have the yellow body and then I go from black stripes in the end it turned out so dirty looking that I was like no we're done <laughs> I, I about was ready to give up and be like sorry this video is not gonna have an ending <laughs> because I don't like any of the things I created but I wanted to find something to show and be like okay this is you know this is 
what I created and you know say my usual line it actually I really like how it turned out <laughs> so and yeah I don't I don't mind the way I'm looking at what I made and, you know they didn't turn out too bad they're kind of cute again they're still wet and sticky maybe they are I don't know I have no idea the other thing is some of the colors were so hard and some of the colors were so soft like the orange was so soft but some of the other ones I really had to like knead it and I my thumbs were getting so tired that sounds so pathetic but I was just like kneading and kneading to make the colors soft and workable but so here I am attempting to put on stripes on this bee and I should have just left it at being bubbly but I'm like I don't want the stripes to be bubbly I want it to be smooth against the yellow so I decided to roll it out and um, it worked out fine but some of the black of the stripe kind of mushed into a weird shape so they weren't straight lines and I tried to fix them didn't end up working here I am I'm like you know what let's just deal with what I have make some wings and call it good so that's what I do at this point and here in a second you'll just see oh, you just go oh that's just so sad <laughs> You're just like, Erica, the struggle that you have is, is great to watch. You know, this is just showing you that I'm normal. I'm a human being who's not good at something. Because, you know, we're all, you know, there's always things that maybe we like to do or want to like to do. Anyway, I decided to make succulents or they're the family of cactuses, cacti, I guess is what they're called. So here I rolled a bunch of colors together to make a bunch of greens. Um, and if you think about it, if you've ever seen succulents, you know, sometimes they have more of a yellow green, sometimes they have, you know, kind of a bluish green, or sometimes it's more of a purpley color. So here I do, I attempt, and you know, I made this little tiny one, and then I'm like, you know what, bag that, we're doing big. And so I made bigger ones, and in a second you won't see the whole finished process, because later, I I did them anyway. Um, I had some clay left over and I'm like, I'm gonna go sit at my desk, because here I'm just at my kitchen table. I'm like, I'm gonna go sit at my desk and I'm just gonna not worry about filming myself, because sometimes when I'm filming, I get nervous going, well, I don't have all the time in the world to show the process because, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you'll probably get bored. So, what you know I just show a couple here and you know they actually don't turn out too bad and like I have said in the past I don't wear makeup and so I had some extra eyeshadow of like blues um, and then I even have a purple one and I took um, this little brush and I ended up brushing just the tips of the uh, the cacti or the succulents whatever you'd like to call them and they kind of have this shimmery metallic look I think it looks kind of cool but um, these don't turn out bad so um, you know they're I actually think they're kind of cute and um, I don't have to water these at all so win-win for me <laughs> um, but here they are. There's the complete finished of all the ones that I have made. I think they turned out cute. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.